everybody. Wow, Liz here. And this is Mike. Wow, welcome to Lapis Lazuli. Always excited that you can be able to join us. You know, we are feeling some energy here today, you know. Yeah. Yes, as we continue to resolve our conflicts. Life is getting better. Yes, actually. life gets better and better. Yeah. So thank you so much uh, once again for joining us. Mm -hmm. We always say that Jesus is our firm foundation. And if he is the one who founds our marriages, yep. then we're going to go places. So welcome, Karibu Sana. And I hope you're learning just as we are also learning. You know, it's been a great time yes. of learning about causes of conflict. Why do we fight? Why do we get this conflict? You know, but now looking at how do we resolve this conflict? Yeah, I know? think for me, this has been the better part of it. Mm -hmm. That uh, as you get uh, to get the cures, yeah. you you are actually being cured. Yeah. Because, yes. uh, you know, conflict yeah. can put you down. Very much. Yeah. yeah. If there are times you've ever thought of getting out of your relationship, mm. it's when there are conflicts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 When there are no conflicts, life is nice, life, life is, so is smooth, uh, you know, you're actually saying, this is the person I yeah, chose. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. And Until conflict is. comes, mm. then you actually think, did I, yeah. did I make the right choice? I know, I know. Because that time you actually wonder, is, is this so is and this so? One? <laughs> <laughs> is this so and so? Is this yeah. the nice uh, girl or is this the nice? You know, man who would do anything for me. Yeah. Who actually would... Uh, <laughs> you know, cross the ocean. Yes. Who, you know, now when there is a conflict. Oh, my we'll goodness. Not sleep without oh, goodness. Uh, saying hi. Mm, yeah. So we are grateful that we can be able to be learning this together with yep. you. And so, Karibu, welcome. And uh, we hope that we can be able to have many people just get to learn these things because as we're saying yeah some of these things we had to learn the hard way exactly. some of them we are so grateful that there are things that we had learned before we got married yeah you know so it's it's we have to keep learning and passing on yeah. what we keep learning from one another because you never know mm -hmm. you might save a yeah. soul and maybe at this particular time i also just want to say that you know what these things that we are learning they are not just for the married couples yes these principles apply across yes those who are dating mm -hmm. i think they actually are the greatest beneficiary know, of right. these uh, videos because yeah. uh, you know they are the ones who has the time to count the yeah. cost now mm -hmm. they are the ones who have the time to mm -hmm. experiment mm -hmm. on these things yeah. and uh, you know if they follow it so if you know somebody who's dating yeah. or somebody who is in a very serious relationship you know you can be able to forward to them and I just call them to follow this because these teachings will absolutely make a difference in their lives if not now but in times to come that's very true and mm -hmm. any other relationship sometimes yeah. even a relationship with a relative you know someone you're staying with yes you know there are some principles that we can still borrow yeah from one another yeah. so today we're mm -hmm. going to talk about uh, the first point is going to be finding a common ground yeah yeah. What we are talking about finding a common ground, mm -hmm. you know, we are trying to explain a little bit earlier that you see when there is conflict, you can easily be so clouded on so many things, and you are actually wondering which one to do and which one not to do. Especially the direction of, of disagreement. Exactly. Yeah. And so we are saying that now that you found yourself in a conflict and you want to get out of it, it is important to also identify certain common grounds. And in these common grounds, this is exactly where we look at what are the areas of agreement mm -hmm. and what are the areas of disagreement. Yes. You see, when mm -hmm. we talk about areas of agreement, yeah. it's because we actually have the same goal. Yes. When we are in a marriage. We are in the same team. We are in a relationship. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are in the same team. Yeah. Yeah. So we cannot be scoring on. The on, other uh, on, on, on each other's goals exactly yeah we're we are scoring to... on the opponent's goal exactly yeah. definitely our opponent is the devil exactly it's yeah. the devil mm -hmm. you know so we are saying that many times we can focus so much on the areas of disagreement yeah you know why why didn't you do this this way why yeah. didn't you do this way why yeah. did you say it that way why yeah. did you you know and we focus on so much negative and uh uh, the areas of disagreement and you even disagree the more and we even now that brings more disagreement and more tension and more distance yeah but when we look at what are our also uh, so this is what we disagree on yeah but also this is what we 
are agreeing on. Exactly. You know, like for example, wow, mm -hmm. we both agree that we want a happy marriage, or we yeah. both agree that we want our children to grow up in yeah. a certain way. Yeah. Or we, you know, we have the same goal. Yeah. We have the, we agree on different yeah. uh, things. Yeah. So I'm just thinking mm -hmm. of an example. Mm -hmm. Let's say like uh, it's our anniversary. Yes. And uh, we all agree that we need to go for our anniversary. That's a big one. Oh. We all agree yeah. that we need to travel out of town. And we all agree that we need to go to Mombasa. Mm -hmm. But maybe we are not agreeing mm -hmm. on which date yeah. or we are not agreeing on which hotel. Mm -hmm. So you see, we start from the areas yeah. of agreement. Yeah. What are the things mm -hmm. that uh, we agree on? Yeah. Because as you talk about your the things that you agree on, yeah, it brings some life. That's nice. That's yeah. Cool. Then now we narrow it down. Okay, we agree on this one. Yeah. Maybe we even agree that we have fifty thousand to spend on this holiday. Mm -hmm. So what is the disagreement? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then narrow. Let's narrow it down to what are the disagreements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I totally agree. Yeah. Sometimes even actually, mm -hmm. it's even uh, like maybe which matatu to take. Yeah. And both of you, mm -hmm. you agree you both need to go to town. Oh, for example. For yeah. example. Yeah. You know, but now mm -hmm. we, we disagree on me. I want to sit on this matatu that is noisy. Mm -hmm. And do you want to sit in a matatu that is, there is no music. Yeah. Not, yeah for me, I call it maybe music. And do yeah. you want no, no music? Mm -hmm. Now we can't say, you take the one you want, yeah. and me, I take the one I want. Let's meet in town. Let's meet in town. Yeah. You know, that's actually the wrong one, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. So we agree that we are going to the same town, mm -hmm. to the same place. Mm -hmm. But now, mm -hmm. because of our disagreement, mm -hmm. now that's where, again, submission comes in. Yeah. Or uh, we compromise. compromise. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Someone mm -hmm. has to compromise. Yeah. And one person has to go yeah. down. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 But you might realize maybe these uh, are very simple uh, examples. Yeah, we're trying to really. think. Yeah. But uh, there could be a very complicated situation. Yes. And the principle is the same. Yeah. However complicated the situation is, yeah. you'll actually realize that when you look at it, yeah. you will see there are points of agreement yes. and there are points of disagreement. Yes. And so we say, start with the points of agreement. agreement first. Then yes. you can be able to deal with the points of disagreement. And before you realize it, that huge mountain will actually be an ant Yeah, anthill. exactly. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. So the second thing that you're going to talk about today yeah. is when you're resolving our conflicts, mm -hmm. no side issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a big one. Yeah. But you see, they creep in. They really, really... Uh, very stubborn ah, yeah, 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 Because yeah. you are actually... You know, sometimes before we actually disagree... Yeah. You actually maybe have taken in one or two things, yeah. and you are actually just seeing no oh, this one now this one is becoming too much, yeah. and so the maybe the third one or the fourth one is the too much, yeah. but uh, when you want to bring it up, yeah. you want to start with the first one, you want to start mm. with the second one, the third one before you actually arrive at mm. the fourth one. Then now you realize it that person is saying no, mm. you you have just been keeping records of wrong. Yeah, Kumba, you've been pretending that you are fine, but you are not fine. Mm -hmm. You know, that thing happened maybe, uh, you know, three weeks ago or one year ago. Why is it that you are still, you are bringing it up now? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's so true. This issue of no side issues. It's mm -hmm. so easy mm -hmm. to bring up other issues. Yeah. When you're talking about another issue. Yeah. And uh, it's because of just how our minds think. Mm -hmm. And also sometimes because we, it's just so hard to just, you know, hear, you know, sometimes it's hard eh, mm -hmm. to keep hearing <laughs> yeah. things. Yeah. And, uh, okay, definitely it boils down to when you're humble, mm -hmm. then you will hear. Yeah. And, 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 and try and put yourself in a position where you want to hear this, what are they saying? What yeah. is my spouse saying? What yeah. is my mate talking about? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But it's so easy to start you know, bringing up other issues, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, as you're talking about an issue today, mm -hmm. it's like it's taken you back, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, sometimes it's back 
-hmm. not just with you even your marriage yeah sometimes it's even something that happened to you yeah you know when you're growing up your yeah. past comes yeah. in someone treated you in a certain way yeah and so as your spouse is speaking to you yeah it's you like it's reminding you, you exactly yeah. of a parent or a, yeah. a guardian or someone yeah. who said something about you. Yeah. And so it really aggravates, you know, and it brings yeah. other issues eh, yes. in the relationship. That's yeah. one. Mm -hmm. But also the other one is mm -hmm. issues that have happened even in the relationship. In the past. You know, in the past. Yeah. So maybe you're talking about, uh, you know, uh, a, a particular issue. Yeah. And as you're talking about this particular issue, you remember, mm -hmm. you know, another one. another one that is totally different. It is totally different. And yeah. so you start bringing it up. Yes. Now that does not go well. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what, what we are actually saying mm -hmm. is because there are some times when maybe you're dealing with that issue, yeah. but they are a bit related. Yeah. So are we saying that even the related issues you should not bring? No, that, that's not what you're saying. What mm -hmm. you're saying mm -hmm. is when someone like now, for example, if I'm the one who's brought up an issue. Yeah. Uh, or you're the one who's brought up an issue yeah if you brought up an issue yeah i should listen exactly i should validate as we say it yeah i should accept and agree yeah that you have a concern yeah so we talk about whatever issue you brought it up yeah i help i i i, I hear you if mm -hmm. there, there are things i need to apologize or there are things we need to deal with we deal with yeah but as we continue mm -hmm. If, depending also on how the issue goes exactly you see the the conflict is so bad yeah and then i also start Bringing saying other yes things. yeah i also say even you you did this 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 yeah now that doesn't go well exactly yeah yeah because what we are saying i totally agree with you yeah is that uh let's and we are we are calling it side issues exactly. so side issues means that these are issues that are not related to what, to we, are what we are talking about, about now there could be other maybe three other issues totally different mm -hmm. let's wait yeah. deal with them at their own time yeah. but this time yeah. let's narrow it down to the issue that is on the table yeah. and maybe just any other very closely Close. related yeah. that will help yeah. to deal with this yeah. thing yeah. then now we can for example maybe we are talking about lateness mm -hmm. and uh, it's been a pattern yeah of this person maybe you guys agree we are going to church at this time mm -hmm. let's all wake up at this and consistently yeah i don't think it's wrong to mention that you know what mm -hmm. it's been uh, maybe a period of one month we've mm -hmm. been getting to late to church uh, almost every other sunday mm -hmm. i remember the first day you know there was this we were doing a b c d and we got late the second day we are doing so you see it's still one issue because yeah. the issue is lateness yeah. and we are talking about two three other times when this has showed up yeah. so that is okay mm -hmm. but when you are talking about lateness mm -hmm. and then you say but even you you know last time you know uh, i gave you money you didn't even bring me back change so you see the issue yeah, of totally change is, yeah. is totally different, different yeah. with what we are talking about so we are saying no side issues just deal with the issue on the table mm -hmm. and let's see what is the way forward Very true. yeah wow so finally mm -hmm. the third point mm -hmm. Today that we're going to talk about yeah. is taking responsibility. And this is the most difficult mm. one. This hey. is so hard. Mm. Taking responsibility. responsibility. Yeah, before we do that, mm -hmm. I just want to read a passage here mm -hmm. uh, about, uh, you know, this was Jesus mm -hmm. in the book of Matthew chapter 7. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was talking about do not judge. Mm -hmm. And he's saying here, do not judge or you too will be judged. Mm. For in the same way you judge others, mm -hmm. you will be judged. And with the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. Mm -hmm. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye, mm -hmm. in your partner's eye, in your wife's eye, or in your husband's eye, mm -hmm. and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? Mm -hmm. How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eyes when all the time there is a big plank in your own eyes. Wow. You hypocrite. First remove the plank out of your own eye. Yeah. Then you will see very clearly yeah. to be able to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Isn't that profound? Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, wow, it's just, uh, it's just, 
it's like a slap yeah. you know yeah. because naturally mm -hmm. we look at the other person exactly we see the other person's weaknesses we mm -hmm. see the other person's faults yeah when there is a conflict mm -hmm. it's so easy for us to be very easy mm -hmm. on ourselves yeah and very hard yeah on the other person because we do normally judge ourselves mm -hmm. with our intention exactly you know we are yeah. like yeah my intention was not to hurt you and we judge others with their actions with how they acted mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. you know so what we are saying is uh it takes two yeah for exactly. there to be a conflict mm -hmm. but many times mm -hmm. we are very one-sided yeah yeah we see this other side this mm -hmm. this other person yeah and how big they are seen and yes. how big they are their mistake is yeah and so what we are saying is we want to try and turn this uh this finger you know they say when you're pointing a finger mm, there are four that are pointing exactly at you. there are four that are pointing at you so you want to try a little bit yeah and look at by the way mm -hmm. what did i do to mm -hmm. cause this yeah you know what what was my what is my contribution exactly in this situation yeah, yeah. you know what could i have said mm -hmm. or what could i have done mm -hmm. differently, differently. To yeah. be able to make this conflict even better, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. yeah. And I think what Jesus is also really trying to help us see yeah. that any time there is a conflict, yeah. focus on yours mm -hmm. because your side is the biggest. Wow. So he's saying, if you have that attitude mm -hmm. that I could have made the greatest yes, contribution yes. towards this, then that is a great attitude to be. Yeah. But you see, naturally, we always think that the other person yeah. is the one who has the greatest contribution. Yeah. So you see, you look at yourself yeah. and see the plank of wood yeah. that is blocking your eye yeah. before you look at the speck that is in your partner's eye. It's so true. And you know, by the way, when the other person takes responsibility, mm -hmm. it's so easy to you melt the other person. Yeah. You help the other person actually realize, mm -hmm. wow, you know, they actually took responsibility. Yeah. Even me, I need to take responsibility. Yeah. You know, so just as we were saying earlier, yeah. humility begets humility. Yeah. When you see take, you take mm -hmm. responsibility, the other person naturally mm -hmm. easily mm -hmm. takes responsibility. Yeah. It's so hard to just keep fighting someone who is not fighting you. Yeah. You know, yeah. so when you take responsibility and you see your mistake and mm -hmm. you're able to, uh, to to say, wow, yeah, I actually see yeah. that what I said was wrong. And as we are saying, mm -hmm. it's not like you you are still justifying. You know, when you are taking responsibility, you don't justify. Yeah, you know, you you take responsibility totally mm -hmm. for your mistake. Exactly. It could have just been the way you responded. Yeah, when someone came in, yeah, maybe they came in late. Yeah. So the way you responded, okay, first of all, they came late. Yeah. But now how you responded, yeah. you know, maybe how you asked, yeah. you know, where are you coming from or yeah. who are you with, you know, yeah. that already takes it. But when you take responsibility, you're like, wow. So, yeah, mm -hmm. so it's important for us to learn to take responsibility, yeah. you know, and see ourselves mm -hmm. and not be so hard mm -hmm. on the other person. Exactly. Let's be easy. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, when you take responsibility, the other person will also be challenged to look at themselves. When you blame, the other person will also look for the opportunity to blame. And you see, marriage today is me, tomorrow it's you. So we also don't want to build high gates for each other. Mm -hmm. Because when you build that high gate, you yourself will be locked out. You will yeah. not be able to climb it. Yeah. You will not be able to climb in. Mm -hmm. But when we take responsibility, and this is a skill, yeah. it is a character mm -hmm. issue that we also need to develop yeah. over the time. And pray. Man, yeah, we've been married for so long now. Mm -hmm. I think there are certain things. If you are wrong, you are wrong. Yeah. Just say, you know what, sweet? I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I see. I did not see it that way. Yeah. But now I see. Or let me go think about it. Yeah. Uh, I think you may have a point. Yeah. I might not see it now, yes. but I think you have a point. Mm. Or they are saying, you know what, uh, mm. you are mm -hmm. right. Yeah. 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 And swallow the bitter pill. Mm, yeah. yeah, actually, that's really swallowing the bitter pill. Mm. When we overcome this, when we learn to take responsibility, that's when we start getting a breakthrough. Yeah. Because that's actually how God desires yeah. for us to have harmony. Exactly. It's when everyone sees. Because we are all sinners, as yeah. we've said. And before you realize it, 
there will be a certain excitement exactly. that is coming up yes. and uh, people we'll now are really becoming relaxed. real exactly. and then your eyes will be open yeah. to actually see the many mistakes that you've made mm. before yeah. and really working not to repeat them again that is so true so we are so grateful once again mm -hmm. that you could be able to join us yeah. that we can be able to discuss this yeah. we are really grateful for all the comments that you've kept are sending mm -hmm. we are grateful to be able to even see yeah. what things that are we you know we can be able to keep learning together yeah. even as we are learning as you also keep sharing yeah you know thank you so much and those who have not subscribed please continue subscribing mm -hmm. it does so much and remember to share yes. because as we are saying sharing this will save lives will save families will save relationships so share with others so that they can also share with others and together we can learn and who knows we will save the world amen thank you so much shalom bye wish you healthy Let's be